Hey everyone, I'm really sorry if my voice sounds kind of croaky and funny. I lost it. I'm not really sure why. I feel fine, but my voice has just kind of decided to disappear for a couple of days. I wanted to film a video and talk about my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love eyeshadow palettes. I travel back and forth between my parents' house, which is in the town where I work, and my apartment here where I go to school, and I always take eyeshadow palettes. I pretty much use exclusively eyeshadow palettes when I'm on the go, and I'm on the go a lot. So I thought it would be helpful if I showed you what my favorite eyeshadow palettes are. These are all pre-made eyeshadow palettes or palettes that I bought this way that I didn't create myself. I love my MAC palette so much. I love my MAC eyeshadows. I use them all the time, and if you are only looking to have one palette that's going to serve all of your needs, I would absolutely recommend a MAC palette or some other company that you like that you get to choose all the eyeshadows to put in the palette because that way you will have everything and you can create it yourself. It's customized to the eyeshadow looks that you wear and what you would like. So that would be my recommendation. However, if you are like me and you're kind of a makeup junkie or a makeup collector, these are the eyeshadow palettes that I would recommend. I think they're really versatile. Um, they're pretty much all very neutral, um, but I do have some pops of color in here. I do have the Naked Palette. I've done a tutorial with the Naked Palette. I love my Naked Palette, but it's not one of my favorites. I don't reach for it nearly as much as I reach for these palettes. And on top of that, I think that everything that can be said about the Naked Palette has already been said in another review of the Naked Palette because there's about a million. So if you're looking for a review of the Naked Palette, I guarantee that someone else has already said everything that I could say and they've probably said it better. The first eyeshadow palette that I absolutely love is my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and this is really, really cruddy looking. It's so old. I've had it for a long time. I've used these eyeshadows so much. When I was in high school, I used this palette basically every day. This Silk Teddy shade is so beautiful. All the matte shades are fantastic, so useful. These shades Honey Pot and Cocoa Puff here at the bottom are absolutely gorgeous. The shimmer is so beautiful on the eye. It reflects light so well and they're so creamy and blendable. And this shade Push Up is also gorgeous. It's actually a really pretty crease color even though it's shimmery. It just blends out to a really subtle kind of shadowy crease color. I love this palette because you can do a really subtle more natural looking eye for the daytime but the matte colors and these darker brown colors are so saturated that they can really smoke out your eyeshadow look and the fact that it has such great mattes and shimmers in the palette means that I could probably travel with just this palette and be fine. I know I mentioned another Too Faced palette, the Natural at Night palette, and I really like this palette as well. However, if you don't have either of these palettes, I would absolutely say buy this one first, and then if you love it as much as I do, this one is also great, but these colors are just unbeatably useful. My next palette is something that you've probably heard a lot about, and that is the Lorac Pro palette. Like I said when I was talking about the Too Faced palette, the mattes in this palette are amazing, and then it also has a lot of corresponding shimmery colors, which are also great. These shadows have, are so easy to blend, which is really important in a matte shadow because sometimes they're, I find them to be really sticky and difficult to blend, and they end up looking uneven or muddy, and you just aren't going to have that problem with these matte colors. For the shimmery side, the pigmentation of these shimmery colors is out of this world. I think this is a fantastic palette. I think it's absolutely worth the... Uh, 30 something dollars that I paid for it I would buy it again and again and this is another one of those palettes that you can travel with just this palette and be absolutely set. The only thing that I wish this palette had which I think I've said before is a matte gray. If this palette had a matte gray I might never buy another eyeshadow palette again but it doesn't so I'm going to keep buying them. That being said about the Lorac Pro palette if it's a little bit out of your price range or if you already have a lot of palettes and you're just not sure that you need this palette, I would say that a really affordable, not exactly dupe, but sort of supplement to that palette is the NYX 10 Color Eyeshadow Palette. And this is in the Runway Collection, um, and the color is Champagne and Caviar. The palette is pretty old. I've had this palette for years, and I'm just holding on to it for sentimental reasons. I use this palette almost every day for probably a year and a half, two years. Matte shades of this palette, like the black, the brown, the light pink, the white are just as good, if not better, than the Lorac Pro palette. To be honest, I very rarely use the garnet or the purple or the blue color in this palette, and I honestly think that 
if you aren't interested in those colors that you would be just as happy with this palette as you would the Lorac Pro palette for a fraction of the cost. The next palette is something that I have also mentioned I think in a favorites video and it is this Star Treatment Bare Minerals Ready 8.0 eyeshadow palette. This just has the most neutral but unique shadows in it. It does have a matte black, it does have a really pretty highlight color, and also kind of a garnet color. This brown is almost a duotony kind of blue. I cannot get enough of this palette. I think it's gorgeous. It has made me want to try other Bare Mineral shadows, which I was really not that interested in before I tried this palette, but I realized Bare Minerals has really got an excellent formula going with these eyeshadows, and so if you're not interested in these colors, I would say check out some of the other Bare Minerals colors because I know they have um, some duos and some quads that look really interesting. I cannot tell you how impressed I was with the Formulae's eyeshadows, and I really did not expect to be impressed by Bare Minerals eyeshadows, so that's really saying something. The last palette that I wanted to go over today was this Wet n Wild I Heart Matte palette. This I know it was limited edition, however I still see it floating around in some drugstores and I know that they've also re-promoted it um, multiple times. I'm not as enamored as the rest of the world with their shadows. I do think that they are really, really pigmented for drugstore eyeshadows and even some high-end eyeshadows, but I don't like the way they wear on my eyes. I just find that two or three hours into wearing them, I look at my eyeshadow and it's just muddy and there's sparkles everywhere and all over my face and I just, I think they are really affordable and great eyeshadows, but not my favorite. However, I love this matte palette. This is such an impressive palette from the drugstore. I can't even tell you if you see this and you don't have it, you need it. It's, it's just as simple as that. I probably paid four or five dollars for this palette. I think I got it at a Walgreens. This black, this brown, this cream color, this white, all of these colors, there's not one shadow in this in this four dollar palette that isn't absolutely fantastic. And I actually don't wear these three shades that much. However, I did use them when I was a peacock for Halloween to create a really cool kind of peacock eyeshadow gradient look. These are not only hands down the best matte drugstore eyeshadows that I've ever tried. They are really up there with some of the best matte eyeshadows period that I've ever tried. Once again I am really sorry these are limited edition but I did have to talk about them because if you see this palette buy it. If I see another one I'm gonna buy it just so I have a backup. I also really love all of the BH Cosmetics palettes. Those are the palettes that I use anytime that I want to have a really bright look. I don't spend a lot of money on really bright colors. I don't have them here to show you right now. I have two of them. I believe I have the third and fourth edition 120 eye color palettes and the 88 neutral palette. And I really, really love all of them. I think for what you are paying for them, they are totally worth the price. A wonderful value, 120 eyeshadows for 11 to 15 dollars really can't be beat and they're actually surprisingly really good quality. So those are all of my favorite palettes that I've ever tried. If you have a favorite palette that I didn't mention today please let me know. I'm always always looking for an excuse to buy more makeup obviously and leave any comments or questions you have. I hope my voice didn't annoy you too much today. It's kind of annoying me so I understand if it did annoy you. I'm sorry. I would like it back too. And that's basically it. Have a great day and thank you for watching.